Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am going to start part one of a travel size video. So these are all of my, um, all of the fragrances that I have in my travel size collection. Um, I'm going to start with mostly things that I just have um, atomizers of. So yeah, so basically these atomizers, I've got a ton of these and I thought, you know what, I'll start with these. And then I'll go through my other bin that is more um, like travel sprays and roller balls and things like that. So yeah, let's start with this Alexandria that we've got here. Um, this is Casanova, which is a... Yeah, Casanova is a dupe of, I think, Midsummer's Dream from Raja. Uh, it's really beautiful, very gorgeous um, like hot weather kind of fragrance so that is the first one next we have got another layered fragrance I might have to move let me see I hate to have to move my leaf and my pumpkin but here maybe I'll put this right here so it'll stop <laughs> focusing on those things yeah, so this next one is from Layered, and this is Ancient Amber. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love Ancient Amber so much. This is one of my favorite ambers. In fact, oh gosh, I need to leave this out for my amber video. This is, it's a traditional smelling amber, but there's something so gorgeous about this amber. It's slightly sweet. It's got a ton of vanilla in it, and it's just so good. So yeah, I'm gonna put that one over here to the side. Okay, next we have another royalty scent here. This is Tom Ford. This is Tom Ford Soleil Niege, and this is a gorgeous fragrance. Oh, I love this fragrance. I have never found a really good dupe. Now, Kenzo Power, the cologne, is a it's an okay dupe for it but it's just not um yeah it's just not a dupe at all i haven't found a good dupe for selenias yet okay next we have a christian dior fragrance this is what is it kitty cat this is christian dior feb de Lisieuse. um this is a gorgeous fragrance too I didn't like this fragrance for the longest. Um, I just felt like it was, it had been so hyped up that when I finally got my nose on it, um, I was kind of disappointed. It definitely didn't live up to all of the hype that I had in my head about it. But yeah, it's nice. It's a warm, kind of cozy, Tonka fragrance. I do really like it. So that is Christian Dior Feb de Lisieuse. Okay, next we have a Juicy Couture fragrance. This is... This is Juicy Couture Majestic Woods. Um, this is actually really nice. I waited a long time before I picked this up. Even the travel size. Uh, it's like a sweet, very sweet oud fragrance. It's actually really nice. So that is Juicy Couture with Mystic Majestic Woods. I'm gonna speed this up because we'll be here forever if I don't. Okay, next we've got another layered fragrance. And you never know what they are until you pull them out. This is Danielle's Milk Bath. This is this is such a gorgeous, like, white, soapy, yeah, it smells like a white bar of soap. Like, if you're looking for um, a fragrance that smells like straight up, like, Dove white soap, Danielle's Milk Bath is a good one. Okay, next I've got Burberry Black EDP. This is a gorgeous fragrance as well. Um, this smells... Sorry, my Burberry Black. This smells just like my Burberry, but it's a little bit, um, oof, it's so good. It's a little bit darker. It's a little bit richer. Um, 
I think it's a little bit sweeter than my Burberry, but it's gorgeous nonetheless. And I love picking up these atomizers from Fragrance Nut. So my Burberry Black EDP. Okay, um, this somehow ended up in this box. It shouldn't be, it should be in my other tub, but this is a Nest fragrance. This is Nest Black Tulip. Um, yeah, this is Nest Black Tulip. A beautiful subscriber sent this over to me. Um, I guess it didn't work for her. And I love this fragrance. I really like Black Tulip. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful cold weather fragrance. Okay, next we have got another layered fragrance. And again, we don't know what this is until we pull it out. Okay, this is Layered Raspberry Fizz. And this is just a really beautiful, like, fruity raspberry fragrance, really. It's actually, yeah, beautiful. It's one of their single notes that is really good for layering. Okay, let's stick with the B-layered fragrances. Next, we have got Arabica Roast. Golly, it is raining cats and dogs outside right now, you guys. I don't know if you can hear it. But holy cow. Okay, we've got Arabica Roast. This is a gorgeous, like, black coffee fragrance. It's basically like a single note coffee fragrance that is, again, meant for layering. Oh, it is such a gorgeous coffee fragrance if you're looking for a coffee one. This is my favorite atomizer in my collection, hands down. This is the most beautiful and I don't even know if the camera is going to do this justice. It is the most beautiful emerald green atomizer. It is my favorite. So beautiful. And the fragrance is Tom Ford Moss. Tom Ford Moss. Breccas? Breccas, probably. This is a really gorgeous fragrance. It's um, uh, it's kind of vintage -y smelling. It's super warm. I need to pull that out for this time of year. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull out the ones I need to grab. Okay, next we have another V layered. This is Cinnabon. We've got Cinnabon. This is a gorgeous single note cinnamon fragrance. Really great for layering. Mm, smells like red hot candy for real. Okay, next we've got another Alexandria fragrance. And this is Purple Haze, which I think Purple Haze is. I think this is Alexandria's dupe of Initio Psychedelic Love, I think. So, yeah. Ugh, it's a good one. Really, really nice. Alexandria makes the most amazing dupes, for real. Okay, next we have Miller Harris Tea Tonic. Miller Harris Tea Tonic. This is a really beautiful um, black tea fragrance. Yeah, very pretty. Okay. Next, I have a luxury scent box. This is Tokyo Milk Dark Tainted Love 62 Eau de Parfum. Really beautiful. Ugh, yeah, I love this fragrance. I forget how much I love that fragrance until I pull it out again. Okay, ooh, I love this one. This next one is Serge Luton's Un Bois Beni. And I love this. This is a really beautiful vanilla with a licorice note in it. So people either really love this or really hate it. 
Ugh, I really love it. Okay, next we have another Serge Luton's. We've got Feminine Dubois from Serge Luton's. This is another gorgeous fragrance. Um, yeah, this is kind of vintage-y, floral, really, really gorgeous. I really like that one. Okay, next we have another Royalty Scents. I think somebody sent this one over to me. Got Tom Ford Venue Fatale, which I love. It's like tobacco Venue without the tobacco. That's what it smells like to me. Okay, and then the last, the last Serge Luton's that I have. La Vierge de Fer really really beautiful um oh gosh i love this one this is kind of a cleanish kind of musky slightly floral really beautiful okay next we have one that i did not like what is it kitty cat yeah this is jungle elephant from kenzo um, I didn't love this fragrance. In fact, I gave, oh, I can't get my atomizer out either. Yeah. It smells like an old potpourri bowl to me. <laughs> I know that is an unpopular opinion, but it does. It smells like an old, musty, dusty potpourri bowl. Okay, next I've got this. These came from a brand called Unique You. Um... Yeah, they sent these over to me a long time ago. This is Welton Secret Amber. Oh my gosh, is this a good one, you guys? I'm gonna keep this out for my amber video too because it's actually really gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. It's such a stunning amber fragrance. I'm such a sucker for an amber. Okay. Oh, next we've got another Tom Ford. This one is called, what is it, Kitty Cat? This one is called Jean-Kiel de Nuit. And it's a, uh, it's a really beautiful, it almost gives me poison vibes. It's like a vintage floral. Gives me real poison vibes. Okay, next we have another Tom Ford. Okay, another Tom Ford, Purple Patchouli. I love this atomizer too. I think it's beautiful. But yeah, Purple Patchouli. Really pretty. Oh gosh, it reminds me of, um, it reminds me a lot of like Velvet Orchid or Velvet Orchid, not Velvet. Yeah, it reminds me of one of those orchid fragrances. Really beautiful. Okay, I've got another one here from Unique You. This one is in a black atomizer. Let's see what we've got here. Oh yeah, this is a good one too. This is from Karam. It's called uh, Amez Moi. Amez Moi. Really, really pretty. Ugh, yeah. That's a really beautiful floral. Okay. Okay, next we have a Dolce & Gabbana. So my label is like completely something leaked on it in shipment. But this is Dolce & Gabbana um, Dolce Floral Drops. And... This one's pretty, but there was like nothing. There we go. Dolce Floral Drops. Um, yeah, this one's pretty. I love the color of the liquid on this one. It's so beautiful. It's Let's like show you my poppet. Mm, it's really pretty. It's kind of like a musky version. For my poppet, YouTube. Oh, Charlotte got a little um, baby Yoda poppet. <laughs> baby Yoda poppet. How cute is that? Okay, next we've got another uh, Royalty Scents. This is Bottega Vanita Knot. Um, 
And this one's pretty. It's um, pretty heavy floral. Where are you taking the pumpkin? <laughs> Move it into the video. There. Just for Halloween. Yeah. Okay, next we have another royalty sense, and this is a Creed. Creed Fleurissimo. That's a really pretty kind of vintage style floral. Next we have Dolce & Gabbana Velvet Desire. This is a really beautiful one. Velvet Desire. It's like a beachy floral. Really beautiful beachy floral. It's sweet, thick, syrupy. Okay, another royalty scents. Got Christian Dior, New Look 1947. This is another really pretty. It's kind of a, yeah. It's kind of a soft fragrance. It's really pretty though. It didn't last long on me, but, oh, I love this one. And um, somebody just came out with a dupe of this. I can't, I can't remember who, but this is Louis Vuitton Cactus Garden. And this is really beautiful. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. It does have a cactus note in it. It's so pretty. Okay, another royalty scents. I love this fragrance. This is this is Tom Ford Lavender Extreme. It's a really, really beautiful lavender fragrance. Okay, we've got another royalty scents here. This is Tom Ford Mandarino di Amalfi. I love this fragrance. This is a beautiful um, orange blossom, orange blossom and neroli fragrance. It's so gorgeous. Mm, love it. Super bright, citrusy for summer. Oh, we're finally getting towards the end here. Okay, another Tom Ford. We've got Tom Ford Shanghai Lily. Really beautiful. Mm. Beautiful floral. Okay, my cat is just chilling. Okay, next we've got another royalty sense. This one is really, really beautiful. This is Givenchy Dahlia Divin Le Nectar. And it's really beautiful. I really like the Dahlia Divin line. I think the whole line is really, really gorgeous. All right, another royalty sense. This is another gorgeous one. Creed Asian Green Tea. Really, really beautiful. Kind of light airy tea fragrance. All right, next, another Royalty Scents. I've got a lot from Royalty Scents. Uh, this is Prada Infusion de Iris. There we go, Prada Infusion de Iris. Really beautiful iris fragrance. I really love this one. Uh, it really is gorgeous. It reminds me a lot of my Boucheron Iris fragrance, but there's something about that Boucheron one that's like a little bit lighter and a little bit sweeter and not quite as powdery. It's still a beautiful powdery fragrance, but... Okay, another Christian Dior here. I've got Rouge Trafalgar, which is a really gorgeous kind of... Um, again. Uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. Very, very slightly fruity, very slightly sweet, um, very slightly powdery floral. Really gorgeous. Okay, we've got another Alexandria. Let me pull this out. This is Alexandria Africano. And this is a dupe of, or Alexandria's dupe of, um, Fireto Ball d'Afrique. Ugh, such a beautiful vetiver fragrance. I love it. Okay, 
Next we have another beautiful Christian Dior, Rose Gypsy. Gorgeous, light, slightly fruity rose. I haven't smelled this one in a long time either. Ugh, yes. Really beautiful, fresh rose fragrance, kind of slightly fruity. Okay, we're getting down to the end here. Next, I have an Amouage. This is Amouage Opus 1. I did not actually like this fragrance at all. Well, this is a vintage -y smelling fragrance, but this is like, yeah, that's more vintage than I want to smell. <laughs> It's, uh, I don't know, there's something about it. Well, I just got a whiff of it and it almost smelled like oatmeal or something yummy, but then, I don't know, there's just something I don't like about it. This is a gorgeous fragrance. This is DSM Durga, White Peacock Lily. And this is a really beautiful, very thick, rich, kind of drippy smelling floral, yeah. It's like old school, it's like a big white floral. Okay, next we have a luxury scent box fragrance. Um, I've had this a long time, luxury scent box. And let's see what we've got here. Oh yes, this is 80s de Venustas, Cierge de Lune. Really pretty. Very pretty fragrance. Okay, last two. Next, oh, I love this fragrance. This is Creed Virgin Island Water. Beautiful lime and coconut. I love it. It's like a really fresh smelling coconut too. It's not like a creamy, ugh. It's so good. It's like lime and coconut, but I'll tell you what, my um, Jessica, my Sarah Jessica Parker, uh, NYC Pure Crush smells a lot like that. If I would just have to add a little bit of lime to the Pure Crush. Okay, and then last but not least, we have a Gucci fragrance. I've got Gucci The Alchemist's Garden, The Last Days of Summer. And this is really beautiful too. Um, uh, yeah, I forget about these. Oh, that's a beautiful kind of peppery floral. Really gorgeous. So anyways, guys, those are all of my like travel size fragrance or well, those are all my fragrances that are in atomizers like this. Um, I'm going to go through next time and let me know if you guys like this, if you like just to be able to see the fragrances like in front of you, or if you'd rather me sit in front of the camera and just show you each one one by one. Um, let me know what you guys prefer, and I will definitely do uh, part two, however you all choose, how, whatever you all decide you like better. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.